Hello friends, today we will discuss another important concept which is application of application of dimensional analysis to general fluid flow problem which is nothing but applying the dimensional analysis to a turbo machine to turbo machines ok so we have two methods in dimensional analysis Rayleigh's method and Buckingham's Pythra so Rayleigh's method and the number of variables increases it becomes very difficult. So for that reason, we will consider Buckingham's Pi theorem. We will consider Buckingham's Pi theorem. So as per Buckingham's Pi theorem, if there are n variables, if there are n variables in a problem which has m fundamental units fundamental units then we can obtain n minus m number of i terms so this is the statement of the problem if there are n variables in the problem which has m fundamental units so in m fundamental units it is very important in some problems it is 3 in some problems it is 4 so if it is a structural problem we have we have m l t if it is thermal problem, then the fourth one will be added, which is temperature. So in that case, we will get M, L, T and theta. So here M stands for mass, L stands for length, T stands for time, theta stands for temperature. So if it is thermal problem, then only we will get 4, otherwise it is 3. So in the present problem, so application of dimensional analysis to fluid flow problem which is very important from examination point of view so we have here number of variables n so sorry first we consider the general problem y of the function b n q g h mu and t So in a general fluid flow problem, we have so many variables, diameter, hmm? diameter of the rotor or anything, density of the fluid, speed with which the uh, rotor rotates or the wheel rotates, then Q is the discharge with which the fluid is flowing in the uh, system, then GH, energy per unit mass, mu is the viscosity of the fluid, P, power generated or power consumption, so it can be anything. So next we will write in this problem, we have seven variables. 7 variables in the problem there are 3 fundamental uh, units or dimensions so that is you can see here there is no temperature term involved so it is 3 if temperature term is involved then it becomes 4 so number of pi terms what we get is 4 n minus i m 7 minus 3 is 4 so according to this we get pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 and pi 4 so, four pi terms we will get in the present problem. So, before proceeding to the problem, what we will do is, we will write all these variables in terms of m, l and t. So, first d diameter which has a unit of meters. So, meters means there is no mass term. m stands for mass. So, mass term is not there, so that is 0, m is to 0, meter means length, so length term is there, so we, we have to write here 1, time term is not there, it is 0, so continuing, we consider n, next variable, n unit is rpm, so it is revolutions per minute, if I write it in terms of m, l, t, so revolutions, it is not a dimensional quantity, so per minute, so per minute or per second, so again, m raised to 0, l raised to 0, because there is no mass term, there is no delta term, only time term that will be in the denominator, per time, per, per minute. So next we can consider, so b is over, n is over, we will consider rho, rho unit is density, mass by volume, kg per meter cube, mass by volume, so in terms of m l t so mass term is there 1 
Metal tube term is there, but as it is in the denominator, what we will get is minus 3, and term is not there, 0. Next, we will consider Q. Q discharge meter cube per second. Again, in terms of MLT, mass term is not there, 0. Meter cube, which is L raised to 3. Length term, in second, minus 1. It is in the denominator, in GH. GH I will write it as meter square per second square. So before this, how it is meter square per second square? That we will try to understand. GH it is energy per unit mass. Energy per unit mass. Energy joules per unit mass. Kg energy per unit mass. So if I simplify joules, it can be written as newton meter per kg. Further newton. Newton is the unit of force. Unit of force. So, force is nothing but mass into acceleration. So, mass into acceleration. Unit is so meter per second square. So, mass kg acceleration meter per second square. Then the remaining terms meter per kg as it is. So, in place of Newton, this kg meter per second square meter per kg as it is. Kg kg will get cancelled. So, we will get here meter square per second square. So in place of GH, I can write either joules per kg or meter square per second. So we have written here m square and per second square. So here in terms of MLD, so your mass term is not there, length term is there, power 2, time term is there, but in the denominator t raised to minus 2. Next we have viscosity. So viscosity unit is twice or SI unit is Newton second per meter square or it is also Pascal second. Pascal second. So further Newton can be written as Newton can be written as kg meter per second square unit of force second term and meter square as it is. So if I simplify and write in terms of MLT. So kg term is there 1, meter term is there, but it can cancel. Meter, meter square. So we will remain with 1 meter in the denominator. So that is minus 1. So second term and second square will get cancelled. We have 1 second in the denominator which is minus 1. Next we have power term. So power is bad. Okay, further it can be written as joules per second. Further if I simplify joules per second, Newton meter per second. So for Newton again you can write it as kg meter per second square. Again meter per second, meter per second as it is. So power for power we can write in terms of MLT as kg 1 meter square L raised to 2. T raised to minus 3. So for power, it is m raised to 1, l raised to 2, t raised to minus 3. So before proceeding to the problem, you should construct a table like this. So after writing, then we can proceed to the problem. As we know, we have seven variables, three fundamental dimensions, number of pi terms that is n minus m equal to four. So obtain four pi terms, we will write a table pi one, pi two, pi three, and pi four. So here we will write it like this: G B. G B means geometric variable. Then we will write FPV fluid property variable. Fluid property variable. Then FFV. So we have to have V 
अगेन फ्लूड फ्लो वेरिएबल देन एन आर वी दिस इज इंपोर्टेंट नॉन रिपीटिंग वेरिएबल नॉन रिपीटिंग वेरिएबल तो प्लीज कंस्ट्रक्ट अ टेबल लाइक दिस should be written like this in place of geometric variable we have to see how many terms are there in the problem there are seven so which are related to geometry we have diameter speed density discharge energy per unit mass viscosity and power only diameter is related to geometry so directly write it as d next we have fluid property variable so again we have to see for fluid property terms how many fluid property terms are there in the problem so we have fluid property density and viscosity out of these two we select the basic one so density will be basic fluid property then next is fluid flow variable so we have to see how many fluid flow variables are there we have speed which is fluid flow fluid flow variable then we have discharge so for fluid flow variables we can give another examples uh, some more like velocity acceleration so this can be considered again in in this in these two we have speed uh, which is the basic fluid flow variable so i'll write it as n then the remaining terms the remaining terms so this we have written this we have written and this we have written so remaining will become non repeating variables so q is a non repeating variable gh is non repeating variable mu is non repeating variable and p is non repeating variable so we'll write that q G H, mu, and P. So after these three, D, R, N, the remaining problems, the remaining variables in the problem, they will become non-repeating variables. Q, G H. So write it like this. After this, what we have to do? Write it here. A one, B one, C one. So in place of D, D raised to A one. So here, R raised to B one, N raised to C one. So similarly, please continue the problem. This right. D raised to A in place of A one here it is A two for pi two term. So for pi two term again B two, N raised to C two. So for this non-repeating variables, no need to write the powers. Again D raised to A three, R raised to B B three, N raised to C three. So D raised to A four, R raised to B four, N raised to C four. So four integers the four pi term. So like this, please construct a table. Then we'll now solve it. So solution goes like this. Assume that there is a equality symbol here. So we we'll get four equations. One for pi one term, one equation for pi two term, another pi three, another pi four, another. Like this, we get four equations. If we solve them, we will get four pi terms. So pi one is equal to d raised to a one, r raised to b one, n raised to c one, and q. So what we will do is in this case, in place of pi one, we'll write huh? we'll write m l t. So in place of pi one, we'll write its units. So pi one is a dimensionless huh, quantity. So it is m raised to zero, l raised to zero, t raised to zero. So in place of b, in place of b, I can write M L T. So D, it has only huh, L power, L raised to one. M is zero, L is zero. So raised to A one. So similarly, you can write it for rho. So rho it is M raised to one, L raised to minus three, T raised to zero. M raised to one, L raised to minus three, T raised to zero. You can skip it. Then we have N. So N is M raised to zero, L raised to zero, T raised to minus one. So only write T raised to minus one, raised to C one, Q. For Q we have M raised to zero, L raised to three, T raised to minus one. So L raised to three, T raised to minus one. Now in the next step, what we do is equate 
equal powers of m so m power in the lhs is zero in rhs we have m raised to zero into a1 so that is zero plus in the second term m raised to one b1 m raised to one b1 so one into b1 so t raised to minus c1 there is no m term zero in this term there is no m term zero so if you solve this we come to know that b1 is equal to zero so here equating powers of m so we have to see the powers of m so here m raised to zero zero okay now in this term m raised to zero raised to a1 so that is the term zero into a1 is zero so in the second term m raised to one b1 so one into b1 b1 so we are only writing for powers so it is one into b1 then t raised to minus one so there is no m term zero for that in the fourth term there is no m term so that is zero so only write the powers of m so we will get b1 value which is zero for the uh, equating powers of l Equating powers of L again, L raised to zero in the LHS, L raised to zero, L raised to zero. In this term, L raised to one, A one. So one into A one, A one. Here, yeah. M L L term is here minus three B one, minus three B one. Next, L term is not there. Skip then here, L cube. So L cube means raised to three, three. So only write the powers. So if you solve, we know that that b1 is zero. So b1 is zero. So this is zero. If you solve again, we come to know that a1 plus three equal to zero. So a1 is minus three. So again, equal powers of t, which is time. So I like just t raised to zero. The power of the here zero raised to a one so that is zero. Then here there is no t term we can write zero. Here we have t raised to minus one so minus one raised to c one minus one raised to c one is minus one plus we have t raised to minus one so minus. One. So if you solve, we we'll come from that c one minus c one minus one is equal to zero so c one is minus one. Okay, so now we have all the huh, constant values. So B1 we have, A1 we have, C1 we have. So substitute these values in this first pi term equation. So pi one is equal to this equation. So substitute it easy here in place of B1. So pi one is equal to in place of A1, A1 we have minus three. So B as it is in place of A1 write minus three. So rho raised to B1. So in place of B1 write zero. Zero n n raised to c one so c one we have minus one then we have q q as it is so if you simplify we will get the first pi term pi one is equal to so d minus three in the denominator n minus one in the denominator q so q in the numerator n in the denominator so we get pi one equal to Q upon n d q. So likewise, we can obtain pi two term, pi three term, and pi four terms.